Hi guys, Andy here again. Um, I just wanted to show you the reality of using the diesel heater in the home. Um, for what I do, my setup every day, how it's not a massive faff once it's set up to, to use. So I'm just turning on the, uh, the 12 volt power supply, which is outside in the box. Um, the control panel comes on. You can see it's 6 degrees here. Press the middle button for oh, three seconds, turns on, it automatically comes on setting three there, which I, I left it on. And it takes um, a couple of minutes to get warm. So uh, there's the heater in the box outside. And that's that's pretty much what I do every morning. That's, that's it, to turn it on. It's not a massive uh, faff. You haven't got a big uh, unit inside the house. That's all that is. All you've got inside the house. And as long as you uh, tidy it away outside so it's not too much of an eyesore um, in your back garden, your patio, whatever, it's not a massive problem. So that's it. Um, it's been on, what, two or three minutes and. Uh, there's a glow plug inside the heater, but you don't need to worry about that. I'm just trying to explain the simplicity of uh, of using the heater on a daily basis. Um, so it, it gets going after like two or three minutes, and then you just leave it. That's it. That's all I do every morning. You can tell it's, it's morning because my voice is still a little bit croaky. I'm still half asleep. Um, but yeah, just switch that on every morning, and you... I'll come back to it in a little while and you, you'll see how it's warmed up nicely. Just come outside, it's absolutely freezing. I've just fed the birds. Um, and there's the, there's the heater box from outside. You can see just a, a little bit of um, condensation comes out of it. That'll clear in a minute. There's a little bit of a, a roar from it, so you can hear it here. But it's, it's not too bad. It doesn't annoy, doesn't annoy any of the neighbours at all. It's not that, that kind of a noise. It's like a whooshing, like a, like a fan noise. So I've had the little heater on for about 25 minutes now. Um, minus three outside still. Um, and all, all of the downstairs is, is quite pleasantly um, warmed up. It's, uh, this is uh, a 1930s uh, four bedroom semi-detached house. Um, not fantastically insulated than uh, like old character uh, single glazed windows at the front of the house. So it's only on setting uh, number three, it goes up to number six. Um, already it's gone, that's gone up to 12 degrees and it, it's pumping the heat away from the, uh, the thermostat in the control panel. So it's, it's a lot warmer in here than, it, than that. Um, so once it's heating this, heated this double lounge up, um, the heat's oozing up the stairs, into the, into the hall up the stairs, uh, and then it goes into the kitchen. I've got the remote control for the central heating uh, system. It's up upstairs, it's on setting, it's set at 21 degrees, and uh, occasionally it might kick in if it gets cold upstairs um, but once this warms up it doesn't really kick in um, throughout the day so this really is pumping a lot of hot air into the house all day long um, and my reason for doing this video is that a couple of friends of mine were thinking about getting one but they're not really um, and for my mom as well actually but they're, they're not really that mechanically minded and I was worried that you know they might need to keep um, giving it attention whatever but you can see what I've done um, all I've done this morning is just press, press the switch press the button um, later on this afternoon I'll go out and uh, check the tank check on the tank in there to uh, make sure it's topped up with the uh, well, kerosene, I'm using kerosene at the moment. Um, make sure it's topped up. But uh, to be honest, it, it ran out of uh, fuel once and uh, 
it wasn't a massive problem. Uh, nothing burnt out. The control panel didn't bur burn out or anything. The machine just stopped. It just stopped um, pumping the heat out. Um, I topped it up and away it went again. I think they're pretty, pretty bulletproof. I think people worry about these machines, but they're like a little furnace. They're, uh, they're pretty bulletproof, I think. So I've just popped out. So I've, I've come back in the house. Um, it's, it's icy outside still. It's really cold, but I've come back in here. I've left it on number three by mistake, and it's too hot. Uh, we haven't got the central heating on. It's icy outside. It's it's warm upstairs. It's not boiling, but downstairs he's absolutely roasting. Uh, you could walk around in your your, sh your shorts and a t-shirt. So yeah, in the, in the afternoon I, I usually it's about three three o'clock now. Just come and uh, check on the heater. Just top it top it right up to the brim and uh, put the lid back on and leave it till in the morning. So that's been on, that's topped right up to the, to the brim. That's been on um, all day from, the, from this morning till now about three o'clock. And it was on last night, um, probably from three o'clock till later on in the evening. And it's, it's just used um, three litres, on, mainly on setting two, but setting three this morning, all morning. So we'll just... Uh, So that's it. That's the the daily a day in the life of the uh, the diesel heater. The reality of, of using this heater. I mean, there's no uh, maintenance to do. Nothing else. Just just topping it up. I mean, that might might not be for everybody. Uh, you might not want to do that. Um, you can get a bigger tank, um, and then you wouldn't have to come outside to uh, to touch the heater. Just press the button in the morning and press the button later on when you want to switch it off. I saw someone else on uh, YouTube with uh, a proper big central heating tank um, for use with one of these. Just piped into, into the heater, it's exactly the same as we've got. Um, heating his house, like a, a 500 litre tank. Uh, I mean it is something you can do, you won't have to think about topping it up. And if you have got a big tank then, you can uh, you know, get the tanker to come in and uh, if you're buying larger quantities you will get it at a much cheaper rate. So I mean cost wise, in, in reality again this is costing me two, two or three pounds a day. Um, this is this is over the, the coldest months of our UK winter um, and I've heard some people are paying like 20 pounds a day to, to heat a home. So you uh, can make quite a considerable saving by using one of these to heat your home. Um, please go and have a look at my other videos. Uh, just click on my username and uh, you'll see quite a few of the videos of me uh, <coughs> using this heat. There's a few modifications and uh, different things you can do. You might find them useful. Uh, there's links in the description to to the heaters and a few accessories that you might find useful as well um, so yeah thanks very much for watching guys um, please give me a like and subscribe and uh, watch my other videos bye guys